As Yennefer of Vengerberg told it, there had been a magic explosion in Skellige. Related to Ciri's reappearance, it had destroyed a vast swath of forest. Geralt set out for the Isles to join the sorcerers and seek further clues of Ciri's whereabouts. This has got to be Yen's room. She always did like space and the luxury. Unicorn. She fixed it. No idea how she managed to bring so much clothing. Must have hired out a galleon. As usual, black and white. Glamour. Scent of lilac and gooseberries, even with the lid on. Taste hasn't changed. Scope? Guess she never goes anywhere without it. As Philippa Eilhart said, megascopes and toothbrushes. Deeply personal possessions. Tessia de Vries, the poison source. Still turns to it for inspiration. It's not something I'd ever wear, but what don't we do for our... Hmm. Who exactly is she to me? a worthy successor. You speak as though you have someone in mind. Skellige's troubles very much derive from it not being a hereditary monarchy. Any upstart can be king and destroy his predecessor's legacy. The King of the Isles is a more symbolic position. That should change as well. A strong leader who wields true power. That is what the times require. Introduce me. This is my friend Geralt. And this is Berna, widow of the dear departed Bran. The Queen Mother. It's a pleasure to meet you, Geralt. You must forgive me. But on a day like today, I'm afraid I cannot indulge in my penchant for long conversations. Lovely outfit. You look... dashing. Thank you. You're... dazzling. <laughs> you know I really missed your candidness. I'm glad we're here together. Ah, 
don't like funerals. Don't like feasts. I know. You also dislike underdone meat and being teleported. But sometimes we must overcome our disgusts and prevail. We should mingle before they all get drunk. There'll be no talking to anyone then. Good thinking. I don't know what Krach wants, but when we meet with him we should have clear minds. I'm not gonna drink. Why dull my senses when I'm in such pleasant company? Do you plan to compliment me all evening? I plan to tell you what I think. Geralt, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. Hmm? Your beard. Why did you decide to grow it out? Don't really know. Hmm. Must say it suits you. Lady Yennefer. Sir. Greetings, Arnvald. My companion is Geralt of Rivia. I am honored. Nice to meet you, too. Quite a few guests. They come to bid their king farewell. They come to see the claimants to the crown. We wanted to talk to Krak on Crate. The Jarl will join us shortly. He's assigned you a place of honor at the table just beside his daughter, Ceres. Follow me, please. They've seated us here. I asked them to. Wanted to meet the notorious Witcher, Geralt. We've met. Don't remember? That was ages ago. Yalmer and I were children when you last visited Orda. But you should meet your feast mates. Allow me the dubious honor. That's Halbjorn, son of Holger Blackhand, Blue Boy Lucas, Madman Lucas' firstborn, and choking down a stockfish over there is Otric on Hindar. Forgive me. I remember our meeting all those years ago, but I don't recall your name. Ceres on Crate. Crack, her da, and her big brother Yalmer call a Sparrowhawk. A Yal's daughter she is. Fat lot of good it does it. Ceres is jealous, for the one among us who performs the greatest feat will be crowned king. <laughs> we all know the feats are a sideshow. Our fathers will choose who will wear the crown. What do you think they spoke to Crack about? You talk like that because you're short of strength and skill. Remember when Hjalmar challenged us all to a race up the mount? You didn't stand with us then. As he buried his axe in that stump at the top to mark his victory, you were warming your chicken bones by the fire. Had my reasons for not participating, but I would have won then, as I'd win now. Hmm, now that you mention him, just noticed Hjalmar's not here. My brother walks his own paths. But about the race, why don't we repeat it? I'm willing to challenge any of you, Witcher included. If I beat him to the top, venture to say that'll be a feat, eh? So you're in. If the Witcher's in. Geralt? Gladly. What are the rules? Whoever pulls Hjalmar's axe from the stump at the top of the hill wins. Stray off the path and you lose. And here I was, ready to puke from all the boredom. Let's go! We're here. From this spot, you must reach the top of that mount. At the summit, you'll see the stump of an oak. Yalma's axe buried in it. Whoever pulls the axe from the stump first, wins. I'm ready. You'll start when I sound the horn. by a hair. No such thing. There's winning and there's losing, and I lost. We best go back to the weak. Let's. Mm. 
see the wakes in full swing. Lost sight of yous. Who won? I lost. I lost to a witcher, Sparrowhawk. And it likely happened to any of us. Enough of the natter and let's drink. To Ceres. Pass the mead and a tankard for the man. To Bran. Me want for nothing in the world beyond. To my beautiful companion. You've been great company. Sadly, it's time we moved on. Really? Indeed. We must talk, but not here. You shall learn all beyond that door. Do you have a shame? Shame? Why would I? The Queen should join her king on his last journey. Tradition demands it. Geralt. This is Holger Blackhand, Berna, Rand's widow, and our hostess today. We've already met. Widow? A widow's duty is to lie beside her husband. A widow's duty is to care for the king's son. Not by our customs, it ain't. Your customs are barbarous. A custom that demands widows burn themselves alive? Too harsh. Foreigners. Holger, perhaps you'd like to show us the meaning of courage? Walk willingly into flames? I'm sure we can scrape together some wood. Calling me a coward? Calm yourself, Holger. You speak to a widow at her husband's wake. Heard a lot of good things about Bran. I will miss him sorely. I was not his first wife, but I bore him his firstborn son and saw him off on his final journey. We lived a great many years together. Let's move on, Yen. High time we did as well. Come, Svanriga. Burn is a scheming whore. Refuses to admit her reign's ended. Bran knew how to keep her in line. Let's drink to his memory. Bran. A great king, a great man. May our next king be his equal. Geralt. All right. Let's go. What did you say in the beast centers? The gods are not kind, Lara. Our isles are in for hard times. What's that mean? The isles are in for hard times. Speak clear. The heart was deformed. An ill omen always. An ill omen for me as well. Hear me. What'll become of me? Fear not, Jarl. I'll not let you perish. I assure you. You need only follow my counsel. I present to you Geralt of Rivia. Geralt, this is Udelric, Jarl of the Brockford clan, from Speakerrog, and his advisor Hjort. The White Wolf. Greetings. Gotta say, never really believed in omens and auguries. One's belief, or lack thereof, makes no difference. Tell him what awaits him, what you told me. Your fates will intertwine, yours and Udelric's. You will walk in darkness. Before you, fire and shadow. Hear that, Geralt? Everything clear now? Didn't plan to visit Speakerog. Man is not the master of his fate. Thanks for the prediction. You do not believe now, but you will yet remember my words. If you don't mind, Yen, I'd like to ask about us. What's the future hold in store? The one you seek, you will find. And then she will die. So I won't meet a tall, dark stranger? I shall have to content myself with you, Geralt. I sense the mockery in your voice, my lady. But my omens do not lie. Nice to meet you both. A toast. To honor King Bran's memory. A worthy gesture, Udelric, but I need to keep my head clear today. Got an important conversation later. Strange man. I hear he's very sick, carrying himself unusually well tonight. 
Talking to you, shit brains. I'm warning you. Allow me to introduce Geralt of Rivia, a witcher. Geralt, Jarl Dona and Hinder, and Jarl Madman Lugos. Calling Lugos a madman's an insult to madmen. He's a common goat fucker. Call me a goat fucker one more time, and I'll chop off your head, stick it on a pike, and piss down your neck hole. Enough! Time to settle this. Here and now. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Giving me a true freight right now. Shat my best trousers. Put that away before you cut yourself, you cunt. Settle this outside. Who the fuck are you to advise me, eh? Someone with better manners. You insult Bran's memory and Crack's hospitality with this. Emperor would be very pleased to hear you quarrel. His Imperial Majesty is more than welcome to visit. Let him sail over here. We ain't afraid of the Black Ones. Raiding coastal villages is one thing. Total war with the Empire is another. Awfully mouthy, this one. Go stir your cauldron and pierce some boils, witch. Don't talk when you haven't got a fucking clue. Know what, Lugos? Just realized I don't give a damn about your hallowed rules of hospitality. Finally, some diversion. And here I was ready to puke from all the boredom. Come on, freak. Show us what you're made of. Move the benches. There's to be some gob slapping. Go and beat the bastard down. If you don't like ah. well. Come on, come closer. Had enough? Ah! Ah! Oh, you got me good. That were quite a wallop. Still seeing spots, room, rocking like a leaky tub in a hurricane. We'll call it even then, as soon as you apologize to the lady. Don't hold it against me, my lady. It's my deep conviction sorceresses are needed, deeply so. No offense taken. Forget about it. That I like. And the knocking. It's what men do. Give me your paw, Witcher. Let me squeeze. It's a worthy one. Witcher, have a drink with me. Proof there's no hard feelings. And visit me at times, I insist. Yaren's been jabbering about bringing in a Witcher for that haunted lighthouse. Do me a favor. Meet him for an ale in the tavern near Arenbjorn. Then you put a short jaunt to find me, so as we can knock back something stronger. Here's to our next. Sure, I'll knock one back with you, Lugos. Nothing wrong with having me drink in good company. I remind you we've important matters to discuss later. Matters that require a clear mind. I remember. Drink like you fight, and we're in for a good time. Tabran! to Jarl Madman Lugos and his madness. Forgive us. We should mingle, talk to some of the other guests. What now? Now we pay a visit to Ermion's laboratory. Didn't know we'd been invited. Because we've not been. Take it Ermion won't be there. That's right. And what's the purpose of this visit? We're looking for an object. The Mask of Erberos. We'll need it. Come, Geralt. Now you'll tell me why you need this mask. Oh, I shall. In due course. Take it, you'll decide when. Correct. Shh! Guards! 
hide behind the tapestry. Sparrows chip, while starlings chirp. What do jackdaws do? Jackdaws call. Goldfinches warble, and cranes whoop. Whereas peacocks screech. Hawks scream, larks trill, and doves, they coo. That's all of them. Hmm. What about nightingales? All ah, right, nightingales croon. Surprises never end. See the ravens? Hard not to. Ermion spies. An indication that we're near his laboratory. I also sense a clear magic aura. Come, there's a ledge outside this window. We must pass along it. Uglier sights in my life. Geralt of Rivia being romantic. Amazing how a hobby can render a man mysterious, fascinating. Especially a druid. Must be a real nature lover. Looks alive. A hundred loose and arrow if you saw that in the woods. Want to care more and <laughs> please? A basin of water for teleprojection. A reflection of Ermion appears on the surface. Supplicants speak to it. Are you all right? Cut myself. The door is locked. The animals, they're alive. Yen, watch out. Monsters. <laughs> Coming closer. They're everywhere. That's one less. That's one less. Strange. Smells of mushrooms in here. In my mind, it's the sense of sleep without trying in the sun. What's happening? You were hallucinating. You ran at Ermion's animals. Sword flailing, I had to calm you. Uh, must have looked strange. Your years of vigorous training at Kaer Morn finally paid off. Bested nearly all the stuffed beasts in here. Please. <laughs> Fine. We've passed the trial of taxidermy. The door stands open. Let's go inside, Geralt. I'll lock the entrance. We don't want to raise suspicions. Ah, our 
dear druid's laboratory. We must search it thoroughly. The Mask of Erberos must be here. Wondrous world of insectoids. Ritual plants. Ah, what do you know? Raymond Marlove. A biography enhanced. Pinecone. Didn't expect this. A large female. A child's skull. A sword and a stone. Things begging me to pull it out. It's not in the stone, don't you see? It's held there by a vice. Laboratory worthy of an Imperial alchemist. Dwarven triple mead. Seems Ermion has real tobacco brought in. Ermion's wand. He's one of the few druids to use one. Look at this. A detailed map of the Northern Kingdoms. Even shows spheres of influence over the ages. Out of date. A goat carved out of Lindenwood, signed to Uncle Ermion. Little Ciri's handiwork. That's what she called him when he was her tutor. Looks like Ermion places something in the statue's hand. What do you say we give it a pine cone? Hmm, nothing. So, statue, how about a skull? Hmm, guess you're no indecisive prince. How about a mug of mead? Statue or not, everybody needs a drink sometimes. Huh, seems like it worked. Who would have thunk? Ermion enjoys jests achieved at the expense of others. I have a sneaking suspicion the mask will be in here. This is it! Got it. We must return to the feast quickly before. that? Smelled it. Gas. Grate still closed. Gotta think of something quick. The damned druid will poison us. This vapor's deadly. We've got but a few minutes. Teleport us out of here. Think of something. Quickly! First thing to come to your mind. Hold on tight. 